Richard, I understand the expansion of the universe, I understand inflation, but it all gets back to that beginning event. I'm told I shouldn't even ask the question because nothing can be before the beginning because that's when time was created. Right. Um, well, currently, our theory of inflation says that the universe started with a small inflating region. This was like the trunk of a tree. And Linde showed that uh, branches could form mm -hmm. from these trunks. Universes could form off the original universe, and then that would grow up that branch would grow up to be as big as the trunk itself and sprout branches of its own. But the question is, well, where did the original yeah. trunk come from? So Li, and, Li Jing Li and I proposed a model that looks like this. This is a space-time diagram that I had made by a New Jersey <laughs> glassmaker. Uh, the only thing that's real here is the glass itself. This is an inflating universe. Mm -hmm. It's getting bigger with time. Time's going this way. Mm -hmm. It's getting bigger with time. Um, this is a branch off of this uh, trunk. Uh, this is an inflating universe, and a quantum fluctuation is giving birth to this mm -hmm. universe over here. You can imagine these missing each other in higher dimensional space as they go on. And what Li Jing Li and I said, you can have branches coming off of branches here, but Li Jing Li and I said, well, where do you get the trunk? Well, suppose one of the branches simply curved back around and grew up to be the trunk, the original trunk. This is just a, a loop geometry that's possible in general relativity. and Looping in time. Looping in time. Um, the great thing about inflation is that a little tiny piece inflates to become yes, this enormous right. universe, each little piece of which looks just like the inflating piece you started with. So suppose that one of those pieces is actually the piece you started with right. via time loop, uh, you could have the universe uh, be its own mother. So rather than making the universe out of nothing, which seems difficult yeah. because how does nothing know about the laws of physics? We say, well, maybe the universe was made out of something and that something was itself. And how could it do that? Well, if it had this time loop geometry in it. So if you go back in time, you'd go back down this branch here, and eventually you'd find yourself in this time loop going around and around. So this is a universe that has a beginning, but it has no earliest event. Each, each event in this time loop has events that preceded it and caused it in the normal way. So it's like we might have said before we knew better, we might say, well, look, either the Earth is infinite to the east mm -hmm. or it's finite. It has a boundary there, an edge, you fall off. off. But now we know with curved uh, geometry of the Earth, you can keep going east. Eventually, you'll it's finite toward the east, but you'll come back to where you started. So in this case, the universe starts with a little time loop. This can be very short, maybe even five times 10 to the minus 44 seconds here. Well, incredibly short. Can be very short, it could be that short. Uh, and this is a very small uh, time loop that starts the universe. And then uh, this is a region where you can do time travel, but once you've come beyond here, uh -huh. you can't do time travel anymore. So it's a little time machine at the beginning of the universe that, that shuts down. And this sets the causality and everything that'll occur time flows away from this time loop afterwards. Mm. And so it, this can explain in a, in a very nice way the uh, origin of the universe. It doesn't have any singularities here, no infinite density. It's a stable solution and so forth. So Li Jing Li and I thought this was one of the promising alternatives for starting the universe mm. and answering this first cause question. <laughs>